So, Oscar Wilde says, Confessions are good for the soul, but bad for the reputation. Um, that picture you're looking at is a very young me, 19-year-old. Uh, um, and yeah, I wanna, so I want to put some out, because um, it's always been in the back of my head that, you know, as I'm going to get on and write more books and books and books, um, things are going to come out. So if you hold your hands up to them, then um, they can't be used against you. So here you goes. Uh, so before I go into the story, so I was, um, someone attempted to blackmail me about three, three years ago, three and a half years ago. Um, and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to pull a few things out. Um, yeah. So that picture there, um, I was in the, the middle of the paper. I was 19, I was a teenager, got involved in a, a fight, um, big punch up in the street, loads of people, police said, tell us who your mates are, uh, it's about 15 people fighting, I kind of never said anything, and uh, solicitor sent me to go guilty, I'll get you six to nine months, and I did, and I got uh, I got double, <laughs> I, got, I got 18 months, Judge Fox for you, but um, yeah, it's, you know, everyone's got a bit of history haven't they? I've you know there's no sex offences or drug you know kind of really bad racism kind of things do you know what I mean uh, I do have about seven or eight convictions and they're all for drunken disorderly or punch-ups in streets or you know just stupid immature laddish behavior uh, which I'm not proud of but um you know I'm kind of fat and middle-aged and kind of boring now but uh yeah once upon a time I was thick as shit and uh i got involved with just silly ridiculous behavior um as i said i was blackmailed uh that people were going to use that and because i'm going to write books left right and center and you know i've released 22 i've got another four ready to come out starting one another one done three documentaries uh i mean the video i did last year i've never really explained but that that'll be on my to-do list when i made a you know, huge pig's ear of things. Um, you know, and every action is a reaction. My windows got done and I kind of reacted badly. Said a few things I shouldn't have, so I said. Um, but yeah, uh, another th another thing. So I was in prison when I was young. Not proud of it, but uh, massively learned from it. And it taught me enough to, to never want to go there. Um, a couple of other things I want to address as well. Addictions. So my personality has been where I will. I could get addicted to Blue Smarties. I just, you know, and um, so I was addicted to crack cocaine in October two thousand and two, uh, and I kind of never really woke up and sorted myself to f probably back end of March two thousand and three. Five or six months period that you know I lost everything, um, and the only way I was up to totally rebuild my life. Um, so I was a fully blown crack cocaine addict. Um, another thing as well. So I watched Michael Jackson on the news, um, his death, 2009. And I remember thinking, how could you get addicted to painkillers? It's just impossible. But I did. I did. Um, I was probably about 37, 38. I'm 43 now. And uh, I broke my arm and the uh, they were just chucking painkillers at me. And um, that was, you know, that was uh, something I went through which I never thought I did. So, yeah, there you go. You know, prison when I was a young kid. Uh, lots of different prisons, actually. Not because I was anything, because I wasn't, but I just, I was a daft young kid with a bad attitude and um, a chip on my shoulder. You know, I ended up going to loads of different ones. Barn uh, Diabol twice, North Allerton. Forest Bank in Manchester, um, Warrington, Thorn Cross, what else was it? One in Wigan, Hindley, um, and just immature, really ridiculous behaviour. Uh, as I said, crack cocaine addiction, beat that. Um, and then painkillers addiction. But other than that, um, you know, that, that's as bad as it gets. So I just wanted to put that out um, because when you own things, it can never ever be used against you. And my plan is to do like a hundred books. 
Um, you know, I'm starting number 27 next in a week or so. And then Brian Clough will be 28. And so on and so on. But I wanted to put it out there to kind of hold my hands up to it and think, you know what? I'll admit that, yeah, it was horrible. It was... It was... It was um, it's just part... It's, it's basically someone who I no longer am. And, uh, yeah, you know, God, did I learn from you? Um, and that's the thing, you know what I mean? If you do hold your hands up and if you can learn from it, then, um, you know, it's an invaluable experience, isn't it? So uh, I don't ever want to... I don't ever want to that kind of someone come out again and go, well, do you know what, when I've come out and said it, do you know what I mean? So anyway, there you go. Uh, part of a part of a past I deeply regret, but, uh, you know, I'm owning it, as I say. And, uh, God, yeah, it was no fun. And, uh, yeah, I think it's kind of why I'm, uh, I'm trying to be sensible, do you know what I mean? But I certainly think my... My stupid days are over.